to protect this corn, I take the par paraffin film, place on the reeded edge to protect all the detail that's around it. Because it's real important for me not to destroy it. Then I place it inside the reducing die. Okay, because all I want to do is reduce it to a point so it can fit into my Swedish wrap. Okay, so what I do is place it here on my hydraulic press. Position it a little bit better. There you go. I take a top, place on the coin evenly. And be careful to fill this process through. So you bring down the hydraulic press. Okay. Let me bring that in a little bit. I'm gonna use this arm. See my muscles? Okay. Bring it down slowly. You hear that crank? You want to bring it down slow, nice and slow. One more crank. There you go. You feel that pressure. I want to stop. Release it. And pull it out to see my results. Okay. Take the paraffin away from it. And this right here, just reduce the edge a little. And see that it went down a little further in my die. So it's now it's time to wrap. Now, before I start this process, I wanna go back to anneal this coin. I wanna make sure that it's nice and soft before I wrap it and place it down in this um, die. It's all about protection. Warm this up. I don't want to lose any detail in this corn. going for a size 14 for this coin ring. Okay. I think it's ready. So I take the coin ring and dip it. And hit a quench. All right. Now, it's good to touch. I dry it off. And I use this piping tape. I get it from Home Depot. It's about a dollar for each one. So I use it all up. I buy about 10 at a time because it's real important not to damage these, these coins. So what I do is wrap it. So here we go. One wrap. That's two. That's three. Four. That's five. Six. And what you want to do is wrap the whole corn. Seven. Every part of it, even the reeded edge, because you don't want any damage to that either. It's eight. There you go. Make sure it's nice and full. And once again, this is to make sure you don't damage the corn. There you go. Keep on wrapping. Don't worry about using all of the piping tape, the plumber's tape, because you can go buy more. It's only a dollar. Okay? Keep on wrapping. I want to make sure that King's Corn... See that 2006. 
It's very important to me. If not, I'm going to have to go buy another coin. I don't want to do that. So. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. There you go. Keep on flipping. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I let it go. And as you see, we just mummified the coin ring. Very important step though. Now let's see, can I put it back in this Swedish rap mode? Voila. Okay. So what I want to do is take it out. I want to add some cut lube to help it go down the Swedish wrap better. So all I do is take a little on my finger. Make sure I put it inside of the Swedish wrap. Then also I take it and I put it on the outside of the corn. I want it to go down smooth, okay? There we go. All right, and that's Cut Loop. You can get it on Amazon. I believe it's like maybe eight to $9. I'll put it in the description. Okay, I place that in. Okay, it's like nice and snug. All right, now the process, which is very important. Just start to push that down. So we have these push rods here, created by Jason Works. And since it's kind of long, put it at this lower level. Place it in the center. This is got to be very careful with this too because you don't want that coin to become crooked and uneven. So I want to take my time with this as well. A little space there. Use the top flat surface. Hydraulic press and bring it down. Use my other hand, you know, and bring it down nice and slow because I want to make sure. I'll show you a little bit more here that I don't shove it down too far that it start to lose shape, but I want to make sure it goes down even. So nice and slow. If you see that it moves, you have to stop, adjust, and do it again. Believe me, I learned the whole hard way. I want to feel where the corn is going. Okay, one more. Okay, I want to stop. I want to see the corn, how far it went down. Okay, as you see, this hydraulic press is strong enough to push this corn down the Swedish wrap. I want to take it out to see where it is. So I use my thumb. Sometimes I can do it that way. I can't, so I'll be right back. So I finally got it out. And you see that the corn is starting to take a cone shape. Um, it's kind of still a little uneven, but the reeded edge has is still intact. As you see that the tape is still attack, intact around the corn. So what I want to do now is turn it upside down and push it down the Swedish wrap once again. And this will cause the coin to gain some uniformity, okay? 
So it's important to see if it can go down the same one. I'll put it down, read it edge, and i start to press again, just to the coin to start to gain a better shape. Wanna be careful with this as well. So, place it back on the hydraulic press. I turn it upside down. Give me some space. Okay. I don't want to press it down too far because important is is important not to cause a deformity with the coin. I want to fill this process out as well. So it takes a little time. To, okay, I want to make sure it catch. Now I'm going to use this hand to guide it, okay? To make sure it stays straight. Okay. Nice and slow. I don't want it to buckle. I'm going to do one more time. I feel that's good enough. Release it. Okay. See, it's there. Now it's time to take it out to see what it's done. Okay. Now, you see the tape that's around. The coin ring start to take on a more symmetrical look, but it still needs to be tapered. So as you see, the tape start to come off. It's doing its job in protecting the detail of the coin. But since I moved the coin a couple times, I'm gonna take this off, reel and nail the coin, and go through the process again, okay? Just wanted to show the size. Right now, the coin has to be a 14. This is past a 15. So it's right now, this size of this coin is maybe a 16 or 17. So I have to reduce this by three sizes. And this is what I'm using the Swedish wrap for, okay? See, it's still intact. Detail on the coin. Before I go to the next step of re annealing it. Still intact. Okay, now that I got it wrapped back up and lubed up, now I'm putting it back inside the Swedish wrap. See how it's uneven? Got to make sure that it's real even. Okay. So I press it down just a little, make sure it's snug, make sure it don't slide. Then push rod, you either push it in that way. I like pushing it down this way first to make sure it's flat. Then you place it in the hydraulic dress, hydraulic press. Everything's tight. Now start to go. One press. Two. Press three. 
That's four. Now it's starting to get a little tough there. So I don't want to play around with it, so I'm going to take it out to see where it is. Release it. Okay, you see that it's deeper inside of the Swedish um, wrap. So once again, I want to start pushing it out. There we go. As you see that the tape is still intact, but it's starting to wear around the sun rays. It's still good around the reeded edge. So what I want to do is take it the other way around. I'm going to wrap it again just to protect it because the sun rays are important as well. Once again, you wrap it with the piping tape to keep all detail in, okay? It is important to keep all detail on the coin. So, there we go. Another ounce of protection beats a pound of cure. Okay, so. Now I want to flip it around. Okay. Make sure it's pressed in nice and snug. Now the cut edge up. I'm make it even. So going back to hydraulic press. And a little push there. Push down. Make sure that it's nice and tight. My top there. And I proceed to press down. Nice and even strokes. It's two, three, one and more for good measure. Good. I'm gonna stop to see where I'm at. Okay. Now you see that the tape starts to wear. So I remove that. And you look closely around Liberty. It starts to wear. That means it's getting closer to the metal. So I want to be careful with that. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it again. At that, check the size. Right now, it's a 15. The goal for the coin is a 14, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is see, can I reduce it with the 70, 17 degree die? Okay, it's kind of tight. And you see, metal to metal, and I don't want anything to mess up the lettering or anything that touched the 2006. So what I'm gonna do is continue to put it down the Swedish wrap. I wanna protect the coin at all costs. So I'm gonna wrap it again with some more tape. Some real tight. Because now it's getting down to the nitty gritty. Wrap it again, wrap it again, just keep on wrapping. Okay, so I reduced it again, heat it up by uh, lighting it up with the torch and kneeling it. Then I wrapped it up 25 more times with the plumbing tape. And right now I got the coin ring down to size. Thirteen and three quarters, almost a fourteen. So what I have to do now is anneal it one more time and stretch it 
maybe one, maybe two times until it gets to 14. And how you check that is by bringing it down the reeded edge and see where it falls, okay? Okay, not yet at a 14, but real close. All right. And you see right now how the corn ring has formed. Okay. This will be on his wedding finger. Okay. And it's how it will look. 2006, 2006 American Silver Eagle. All right. So, let me heat it up and go to the next step. Okay, I did heat it up, but now, before I do that, I wanna take a couple um, shavings around both edges and then check the size again before I actually stretch. So what you do is take your bearing tool and you just go around in a circle. Smooth out all the rough edges inside the corn ring. Okay. There we go. All the silver there. Then you want to go to the inside, the cut edge. Same thing. Smooth out all the rough edges and catch the silver that will be going back to the customer. Okay. Now I want to check the size. See where it changed. All right, you see right there. Just doing a shaving, I'm close to a 14. Much closer, just from shaving. So what I do now that I use the paring tool, now I'm gonna foul where I shaved. Want to make sure the ring fits comfortable. Okay, file that side. Now the cut side. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna check the size again. is right close to a 14. So I don't do, I don't have to do much at the corn stretcher. Okay, place it here. And maybe one turn. Bam. Let's check it. At a 14. Okay right at the 14 mark. So I didn't have to do much. Right at the 14. Yep, all the way around. I'll go a little deeper, just to make it a nice snug fit. Drop this drip. Nice smooth fit on the other side. Okay. Once again, with my file, my sandpaper. Okay. Other way. Okay. Check that side again. Smack dead on the 14. Okay, now it's time to shine it up. 